welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Dragon Quest. I'm joined, as always, by our hero, Silva. When we last left off, we made it to this town. We don't have a name for this town just yet. I bet you are the human sign around here. This is the fortress city of Merkido, not to be confused with Megiddo, which is probably what Armageddon is named after. Let's head over here, though, because there is a lot to do here in the town of Merkido. Uh, let's try to talk to this guy right here. He has a weapon shop, of course. What does he have? I bet something shiny and new and everything that we've seen before. He doesn't have anything good. Well, technically, I guess I still am on the Iron Shield, but that's only because I haven't found anything better. You don't have anything good. No. We are done. I actually ended up selling all my medical herbs so I had room to pick up stuff here in town because I didn't drop stuff off at the vault like I should have. Let's head over here. How you doing? Roto's armor has, has changed hands quite often into the posi position. It's not possession, that's for sure. Of Yukonoth. I don't know this Yukonoth. Where, where is he? Uh, here's the inn. I slept here. Uh, 50 GP. But if we look in here, we can get a defense seed. Very nice. Let's go ahead and use that immediately because I don't have room for anything else unless I use it. And up by four. So yeah, the defense goes up by f up to six, I guess. Huh. Forgot. No, the power one is the one I was if on. How you doing, buddy? King Dragon's claws can cut through iron. He can breathe fire hot enough to melt stone. Silva, do you still wish to go forward? Of course. I am a true hero. What happens if I say no? Right, blah, blah, blah. We we've gone through all this. Oh no, I'm so scared. That's good. Nobody will say that you're a coward. I will say that I am a coward. I will definitely say that. If we head up these stairs here, though, we can actually get to our, our vault. Is it the same vault? It is the same vault. So, you can uh, put stuff here if you want to. I, I don't mind wasting a little bit of money. I do have a ton of it. And once we're done here in town, I'll be leveling up anyway. So I'll get more money. Hi, how you doing? Uh, mashed potatoes is usually good. Oh, potatoes are gratin. Oh, that's, that's so good. Oh, with the, like the Gruyere melted on top. Oh, you should do that. That doesn't take much work, right? You have cheap radishes today? I don't want any of your radishes, no. I item shop over here? Oh, apparently this is the item shop. Does he have anything new? Dragon scales, which I have. And the Wing of Chimera, which I don't have any of, but I have a spell for that now. So, I have no use for you. If I remember right. Is it here? Uh, I guess not here, anywhere. Please, yes, out of my way. Thank you. They, they loved getting in my way in this game. How you doing, little girl? Just in case it were attacked by demons, there was a golem outside your gate. What do you mean, just in case? Uh, do I even want to go here yet? I think I do. I think I'm willing to risk it. I still have three more magic keys. How you doing, buddy? Set up shop in Hawk's Nest. Was, oh, Yukonoff was there when the monster was attacked by, well, well the, when the town was attacked by monsters, I can read properly. He barely escaped with his life and made his way here, but prior to that, he ran a bustling shop that was very profitable. So with his savings, I'm living a happy life, mooching off my family. Where was that place? I'm not sure. I think it was in the eastern part of the town. He's talking about in Hawksness. We are trying to get Roto's armor there. I mean, that, that's the idea. And here we can find a magic key to replace the one that we used in order to talk to this guy. Uh, he was actually not the guy that I was thinking of. I was iffy on whether or not that was the guy. But there, there seems to be a guy of importance right there. But I will avoid that for now. We're going to head up here and we're going to talk to a couple new people. How you doing? A weapon shop. What do you have? Iron axe? No. Steel sword? No. Steel armor? 
it's pretty much the same as what I got, which is the magic armor. Magic armor, I believe, is the best in the game. Well, no, obviously not, because we're about to get Roto's armor. But magic armor is still very, very good. No, we're done here. How about you? What do you have to say about this? Holy water. Do I want holy water? I do not want holy water. I will have the protection of the gods. Is that what I want to use? I don't think so. No. There's a few secret items in here. And I'm always iffy on what, where they are in this town. I think it's actually the, this dresser right here. It's usually stuff that I recognized. Here we go. We found the magic nut. So let's go ahead and rub that magic nut all over our face or whatever we do with it. Let's use it. And maximum MP increased by five. I will take that. More MP for me. Thanks to my nut. Let's head up here and head over into the eastern side. H how you doing? King Dragon's minions. Not even King Dragon himself. His minions killed these people. I ask you to pay respects to the fallen. Can I read their names and make fun of it? No. Come on. Here lies Rip Van Winkle. Something like that. Let's head up here. H how you doing? Stop walking away from me. I'm, try I'm trying to talk to you. One of his friends, Yukonov, buried a great treasure under a tree in the back of his shop. I would like to search for it, but it's too dangerous to travel for me. I don't understand why people in town don't just talk to each other, and then they would easily be able to figure out these stories all for themselves. Instead, I have to come along and do it for them. Here's another item shop. Which sells the same things. Why, why do I need two item shops that sell dragon scales and the wings of the chimera in the same town? Why? Why do I need this? I, the answer is I don't need this. Why, why would anybody try to set up that way? Alright, let's head up here. Talk to this guy. A man descended from the sky. That man was the legendary hero, Roto. He is a child of the gods, and we're a child of him. And out we go. Why that is there, I don't know. At least we get the little sound effect for dropping out. Now, there are still a few places that I need to go to, but I don't want to waste magic keys, so I'm going to double check that they're the ones that I want to go to, and I will be right back. All right, just like I thought, I do want to actually open up this door as well. And we can talk to this guy here, and here he will sell us more magic keys. I will actually purchase at least a couple more of those off screen. Uh, but what we really want to do is talk to this guy, and by off screen, I mean before I leave town, otherwise, I'd have to use another magic key in order to open that door. This is the guy that I want to talk to. This is the third weapon shop of the game. And here he sells stuff that I really do want. I do want that flame sword, and I do want that mirror shield. So I am actually going to go out and level grind until I can afford both of them. I'm gonna actually get the flame shield, or sorry, flame sword right now, and then I will. Right, it will produce a special effect when used in battle. It will cast, well, hurt, but it'll cast fireball. Uh, yes. I do want to equip that right away, and then I will be back for the mirror shield. I do need to go outside and level grind up to level 17. Shouldn't be that much more than where I am right now, but I also need the money so I can get the shield. And keys. And herbs. Oh, healed, equipped, and leveled up, and we are ready to move on. Up to level 17 now, which means that I do have another new spell. This is Heal More that we have learned, and it heals more than heal. So I'm sure you can figure out. We also have purchased the Mirror Shield and have that equipped. I have the Magic Armor still on, and the Flame Sword, of course, from town here. Starting to see triple digits in my stats. I'm really starting to like that. That is always good. In terms of the items I got, just pretty much keys. Nobody's, nobody here sells medical herbs. I should not need them, though. I should be fine without them. Let's move on. Where we are headed today is to the town of Hawksnest, which, if you remember, is in ruins. I think 
that I did pass the town on the way here, but we are actually going to head there now. Now, for this part, some people recommend that you go back to the initial castle, back to Ratatum, and make this long journey all the way back to approach this town from the other side. I would recommend that only if you're struggling, because it is a long journey, and I am not a fan of it. With the magic armor equipped, I should not need to heal on the journey over there. Hopefully with each step I take, I will heal enough to never need to heal outside of battle or inside of battle and conserve all my magic. Uh, should you have the medical herbs, this would help you out quite a bit. Should have used the vault instead of selling them. Armor Knight! No! Damn you Mega Man Knight. Down he goes, though. Like I said, I, I'm doing pretty good when it comes to the, uh, the HP, so I should not need to heal. Here, though, we do encounter a metal slime. I am praying that I get a critical hit here, because chances are he's going to run from me. I believe he only has two HP, but you can only do one HP damage at a time. Okay, can I get another hit in? Yes! <laughs> Terrific move! So down he goes! And for that, I get 775 experience for defeating that metal slime. Those things are rare, and they almost always run. For whatever reason, this guy decided to attack me, so he died. Six gold, but really you want him for his experience. But since I just leveled up, that is not enough for the next level. But Metal Slimes, there you go. You got to see one and you got to see it die. What usually happens is it shows up and you try to attack it and it runs. Which is not fun at all because you've been waiting for that so you can get the experience and then it just runs on you. Dick. Let's head up to town. Here is the town of Hawksnest. It is abandoned. We're just ruins now. We were told that it's on the east side of town. I will tell you now what you need to do is head south first. And then you can make it to the east side of town. The shop that the guy owned is actually this one up here, the higher one over here. And if you remember, we were told that he buried his treasure behind his shop. That patch of grass over there looks like it. Let's head over here. Uh, I should mention before we take on this demon knight, oh, boss time by the way, boss time, demon, demon knight, uh, there are random encounters here in town, I just didn't get one for whatever reason. Now the recommended strategy against this guy is to use stop spell, however I find that stop spell doesn't have a very good accuracy rate. I'll do it once, I'll do it once. Ah, there we go, it did work. So he cannot cast a spell on us anymore, so let's just wail away on him from now on. He actually has, maybe I'm thinking sleep has the, has the low, has the low accuracy rate. But three hits, down goes the, di the demon knight, you get 130 experience and 165 gold. What he tends to do is cast sleep on you. It's a real dick move. But let's head all the way over here, and here we can find the armor of Roto. Now you could spend all day trying to figure out where that is, but that's where it is. Let's just make a beeline for it. Look at the armor. It floats above you, that is how awesome it is. This is something that I want to equip immediately. So let's go ahead and go there, not only does it give you the defense bonus? Not only does it increase your HP with each step, just like the magic armor did, but on top of all of that, it prevents you from being damaged while walking on the poison tiles. Oh, this is good armor. This is good armor indeed.